So this is a view from Lake Placid during totality just before 3:30 this afternoon during the total solar eclipse. The moon completely covered the sun just except for that rim that that uh, iconic site, yeah. right? Yeah, Rachel Titi got to see totality in person this afternoon. She joins us live from the Olympic Center in Lake Placid. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Mark and Sabrina. It was incredible. And you are so trained to put on the eclipse glasses during the eclipse, but in totality, you just can't. You can't see a single thing. And so it was a little eerie to take them off and look at it in complete totality, but you could see the faint outlines of the solar flares, the bright orange uh, around that rim, just beautiful. Uh, my uh, chief photographer, CJ North, actually got some really neat video. It was a still shot, but he sped it up and you could see the effects of the Earth's rotation on this clip as that uh, the sun and the moon appear to slowly move across the sky. And then the moment totality ends, a bright light of sunshine bursting through once more. It was quite incredible, actually, to feel the temperature drop once that sun was completely covered and the shadows looked a little weird. The colors looked a little off. Everything was just a little uncanny valley. It was hard to put your finger on why it was, but the lighting just threw a lot of things off. Off. And the message was come early, stay late because of the traffic situation for all of this. We spoke to people from Yonkers who said they did just that. We're here Friday and every day there were like more and more people on the street. So we're like, let's just get there early. Yeah. And they were the first people to place their chairs here in the speed skating oval right outside the Olympic Center here today. And they were one of the last to leave. So they were here for the long haul. Now we left around 6 a.m. this morning. We got here at 830, so traffic wasn't too bad. Traffic is expected to be a lot worse going back to Albany. So I'm going to send it back to you so we can get back in the car and hopefully get back at a decent time tonight. Reporting live from Lake Placid, I'm Rachel TD for News Channel 13. Rachel, safe travels for sure.